Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now this is going to be a very informative video so I request you all to watch this video completely and carefully so that all your doubts regarding the mirror link and how to connect your phones to the uh, DigiPad unit and what mirror link is actually and is it really useful to you all these doubts will be clarified in this video so don't fast forward don't skip to any part just watch the video so that all your doubts will get clarified now when you bought your car and when you saw your digipad you might have observed this screen when you click on the phone link button so now in the digipad uh, you see something called as the phone link and when you open that the following certain guidelines are written that the first one is install mirror link certified application in the phone and the second is that connect mirror link enabled phone to this head unit using usb cable third point is in some cases it might be required to enable internet connection and location services in the phone and there is a connect button at the bottom so basically what i need to inform you first of all is what is mirror link now mirror link is a device interoperability standard that offers integration between a smartphone and a car's infotainment system so it's basically a standard created by certain people a group of uh, automobile consortium who created a standard in order to uh, match the smartphone and the car's in unit system so that the driver will get certain information while driving which is a, which is useful to him now this was before android auto came out by google so there was no probable standards or there was nothing for them to compare to in order to create mirror link so this was the first idea along the lines of which android auto came out later in the future so they created a basic system a basic core system that could be used in order to connect the upcoming smartphones at that time <clears throat> and the in car unit systems of any cars or certain cars so that the driver will get certain useful information without touching his smartphone so mirror link what it basically does it transforms a smartphone into an automotive application where apps are hosted and run on the smartphone while drivers and passengers interact with them through the steering wheel controls or the dashboard buttons and the touch screen scene of their in car vehicle infotainment system so basically what this does is all the apps and all the uh, systems which are uh, essential for mirror link are stored on the phone and it is only mirroring the specific apps and functions on the car's infotainment system and the car's infotainment system itself doesn't have any or sort of the apps it's similar to what you use to uh, you, what you do when you chromecast your phone onto your tv or you mirror link or your phone onto your tv basically everything is running on your phone but the whole thing is being represented on the tv or the in car entertainment system so this is the basic uh, logic and this is the basic thinking behind creating the mirror link now what happened is mirror link was brought up and it was pushed to the car industries before the time of android auto or apple carplay so not all car companies managed to get into this only certain few of the car companies agreed to implement mirror link because it was a upcoming standard and there was not uh, much people or there were not many people who were using it or even like the sort of the idea so even uh, the thing which was required to implement mirror link was the certain manufacturers the smartphone manufacturers had to make their phones compatible with mirror link so they didn't make the software uh, universal for everyone's use they had to purchase the software from the company which created mirror link they had to pay a premium for it and then implement it into their phones so that the users of those phones could connect the cars their own cars to the system this is the reason why not all smartphone manufacturers jumped into getting the mirror link only the high branded high brand value smartphone manufacturers they agreed to get this because they thought it might something become big in the future later on while it didn't the whole thing got shadowed by android auto and apple carplay so this is what basically mirror link is it is a global standard it is a, a standard of you know uh, joining your smartphone and your in car entertainment system together so that uh, the car system the the systems required to run in the car are represented on the screen via your smartphone so this is what basically mirror link is 
So how to use this mirror link and why do you really need to need to use it and is there an actual requirement to use it. Now when Honda made this digipad when they brought out the Honda WRV and further later on the City and Amaze and Jazz uh, they implemented this because they had a uh, understanding between the people who had made mirror link. So they implemented it into their cars even though it was known even at that time and even till now that mirror link was not as widely used and even known about. Only when we brought our cars we came to know about uh, there is something called as mirror link. Otherwise nobody knew about it. But the thing about Android Auto is even the people who don't own cars who don't have cars have an idea what Android Auto is and how it really works. So this is the biggest advantage of Android Auto or even Apple CarPlay where mirror link lagged. So once we got to know that uh, there is something called as mirror link in our cars we all got excited to use that feature. Now it is quite understandable that we want to use that feature to our convenience to our uh, advantage. But uh, later on as we turned more pages we found out that mirror link is not working properly or it has certain bugs or it does not support all the phones. So that was a bit disappointing once we came to know about that. But the way Honda had advertised it showing that the digipad has mirror link and you can mirror apps or even Google Maps or something like that on your digipad turned out to be entirely false. So not all smartphone manufacturers support mirror link. So there is uh, one more recent piece of information which I have received uh, which I don't think many of you know is that Samsung the biggest uh, smartphone company or in India it is the second biggest largest selling smartphone company has uh, has decided to disable mirror link in their phones. Yes the dis uh, mirror link service on sm Samsung smartphones does not work anymore. They have removed the feature. That is quite a news because mirror link phones were mostly uh, supported by Samsung and Samsung users had the ability to mirror their phones onto their car infotainment system. But as of June 1st of this year 2020, Samsung has removed support for mirror link officially. So no more Samsung phones will support mirror link. That is the biggest news and that shows you how uh, mirror link is becoming obsolete or is already obsolete and the reason why you're, you should stop worrying about mirror link now and look at other options. So there are certain things which I need to show you and that information is available right on the mirror link website. If you visit it, if you can just go to mirrorlink.com, you will get the entire uh, information regarding mirror link and what it is. The information is available in the website but you need not go there because I am going to tell you all the information regarding mirror link so that you can know what to do and what not to. So in the official page of the mirror link it shows the certain cars and the phone and the apps which are supported by the mirror link. These are now these are supposedly uh, sub supposed to support the phones or supposed to support the cars but uh, it is in reality it does not. Now one more thing which I, I need to show you is that if you can see here uh, below the YouTube logo it is written as copyright 2016 car connectivity consortium. Now this website was last updated in 2016 and now it is almost the end of 2020 so it's been four years or nearly four years and it's going to be more. So you can see how important mirror link is to the people who even made it. So it's been four years they haven't updated their website and the 2016 car connectivity consortium is still lying there on its official web page. So you can know that how important mirror link is for them. So let's just get to the phones and I'll show you the supposedly the which phones are supposed to connect to the mirror link. So there is a certain drop down menu here wherein you can see which brands of the phones connect mirror link. Now these are the brands given in the official mirror link websites. These are the Fujitsu brand which is almost nil or not available in India. HTC which is the lowest selling and also not much available in India right now. Two, so two brands gone away. Huawei yes certain phones are available in India. Then comes LG also a few phones not much uh, public demand for LG phones then comes Samsung and the breaking news which I told you about Samsung is that Samsung does not support mirror link anymore and to the last uh, smartphone brand which is Sony only a few select people use Sony smartphones these days nobody uses them because it's quite overpriced and uh, the resale value of Sony smartphones is extremely low 
So these are the six brands, only six brands in the entire world which support MirrorLink. And out of these six, Samsung has gone away. So these people have not even updated their website that Samsung does not support MirrorLink. The Samsung option is still showing there. So you know how even the people who made MirrorLink are interested in informing the people who are using their services. So only basically five brands support MirrorLink. These are the Fujitsu, HTC, Huawei, LG and Sony. And all these five brands have a very small presence in India, in Indian smartphone market. The only big players in India right now are uh, Xiaomi uh, and its uh, subsidiary Redmi and followed up by Samsung and OnePlus. And other than that, the other brand is the Apple iPhone. So all these big brands don't support MirrorLink. Only the other brands which have a very less presence and the people who use these smartphones are uh, in a very small number have the support for MirrorLink. So these are the options. These are the companies which support MirrorLink. So if you don't have a phone of these companies, we'll stop worrying about MirrorLink right now. Because I have seen a lot of people discuss this even in WhatsApp groups, in Facebook groups and everywhere else that how to use MirrorLink in their phones, how to use MirrorLink in OnePlus, how to use MirrorLink in the Apple iPhone. Well, you can't. There is no support for it. Officially, there is no support for it. So you can use it on the uh, on your phone so really stop worrying about it really stop thinking about it unless you have these five brands of phones and if you had samsung you had support till now but now you you don't anymore so that is the thing about mirror link support and the brands which are supported now the now, uh, phones which are supported mirror link by samsung are given in the website but as i told you samsung does not support any mirror link anymore so they haven't re removed that yet so let's just go to LG and I'll show you which brands are supposed to uh, support the MirrorLink. So only one phone is given here that is the LG G4. So many other phones do support but there is as I as it is mentioned here this is a partial list of MirrorLink enabled phones. So the entire list is not available here. So let's just go to Sony and I'll show you which phones are supporting. So Sony Xperia Z3 Compact, Z3 Tablet, Z Xperia Z3, Z3 Plus, Z1, ZR and ZL and also i heard a news that even sony has removed mirror link from their phones that they are not supporting ex except the latest one or two versions um i haven't confirmed that news yet but i heard that after samsung even sony has removed the support for mirror link so let's just get on with the other company phones if you're really interested i want to show you which phones do support the mirror link so let's just go to htc which i think has almost uh, least presence in india the one m8 one m8 i one e8 one m9 desire i desire 816 desire 820 a20 mini one e9 one a9 and one m9 plus so this might not be a full list but you'll it, it gives you a certain idea of which phones do support the mirror link feature so sony is done samsung doesn't support anymore we saw lg let's go to huawei and see which phones of huawei support the P10 and the P10 Plus. These are the two phones given in this list. So Fujitsu, I don't think anybody uses any Fujitsu phones. So Fujitsu Arrows NX is the phone which supports the mirror link. So these are the brands and their phones which support mirror link, which are supposed to support mirror link. But out of this Samsung and Sony, I think you can completely rule out them and rest remaining four companies only support. That is the Fujitsu, HTC, Huawei and LG. If you don't have phones of these companies, just forget mirror link. So once that is done, I want to show you which apps are run in the mirror link because so many of you are, think that once you get mirror link, you can do so many things. You can mirror all the apps from your phone. You can run Google Maps. You can do YouTube. No, basically you cannot. Mirror link supports only the apps which are enabled by mirror link in order to be run in the digipad screen or the car infotainment system of any system which supports mirror link you cannot run google maps in digipad please understand this that many of you think that mirror link will make you somewhat uh, the google maps make the google maps run universally in the car infotainment system no it basically can't it is impossible to do that google maps or any other google service will not run on mirror link because they are mirror link they are not mirror link certified the apps need to be mirror link certified by the uh, car consortium in order for them to run in the mirror link so the mirror link website does show a list of apps which support mirror link out of this i have used them personally 
and all of these apps are almost useless i'll be very frank and i'll be very honest all of these apps are almost useless only one or two are quite useful um, a bit useful but none of them match up to the level of android auto or apple carplay so these are the apps these are the audio teka autobot retrofit auto radio baidu baidu bringo car mode which is from samsung which doesn't exist anymore and car navigation by sigic the only one app which offers a decent navigation which i can say but it is of a uh, very low level compared to google maps so let's go ahead and run its customer link dash radio deezer music dog catcher discover my ds doorbird ease to pay glimpse htc car and followed by kia t map lg mirror drive miro mer mx navi Now in for way basically you get an idea you never heard of these apps Rock Scout music and audio I have used Rock Scout it's decent it's not too bad it's not too good it's no it's nominal so these are certain apps which are supposedly MirrorLink certified which you can use in your MirrorLink enabled phone but as I told you uh, the phones which support MirrorLink are very limited and on top of it the apps which are MirrorLink certified are are something which we have never heard of and we are never going to use in our lifetimes as well except maybe the sigic navigation app and the rock scout for playing music and there is a support for spotify but it doesn't work as well as even the spotify which i have shown you in how to installing in the digipad it has very limited connectivity so that is the thing about mirror link right now i think you got a basic idea now now i have explained to you what is mirror link which phones support mirror link and which apps support mirror link so if you don't have the phones which are shown you in the list just forget about mirror link it doesn't matter if you have a oneplus it doesn't matter even if you have the latest iphone 12 it does not support mirror link just forget about it and even if you do get mirror link by some ten chance the apps which i have shown you are the only ones which run in the mirror link if you are thinking you can run google maps you can run any other app via mirror link on your digipad or your car infotainment system well you won't have to stop forgetting that that does not run only the mirror link certified apps run on the mirror link screen no other app will ever run even if your smartphone does support mirror link so now you guys should tell me what you think about mirror link after learning all these things if you think your uh, thought process about mirror link now has changed well it's a very good thing i want you to forget mirror link because it is an obsolete technology it is an outdated technology and you guys are still wondering and thinking how to connect your phone to your digipad and get mirror link done well i think you're living back in the olden times now it's time to go forward times to look ahead i know uh, we thought like mirror link would be a good thing we bought the car we bought the digipad thinking it might be useful but it turns out it is not so i think we should learn to move on we should not stick to what we lost and look to what we can gain in the future so if you are really want to connect your phone to your digipad well i think digipad is not much useful in that part i think you should get a new in car system in car entertainment system in case you really want to do that and get android auto in it and totally forget about mirror link because it is an obsolete technology it is an outdated technology you don't need it even the people who made it don't need it so basically i want you to forget about mirror link and start thinking about the future So that's it guys this was a detailed episode regarding mirror link uh, i wanted to show you exactly how mirror link worked by linking my smartphone to the digipad but i have a samsung smartphone which used to support mirror link i have used it myself but right now as i told you samsung removed support for mirror link so now even if i want to connect my phone to the digipad it won't work so that's why i couldn't actually show you on the digipad screen how the mirror link worked because my samsung smartphone does not support it anymore So I hope you guys like this video and uh, I hope you guys like the information which I gave you regarding mirror link I hope this opened your eyes today regarding mirror link and the ground realities about it and if you like this video if you like the effort which has gone in making this video make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you like this video and comment below how you feel about mirror link and how you feel about the video which I have made today So if you like this video make sure you do all the three things which I told you that is subscribe like and comment so that's it guys don't forget to subscribe and have a good day